the doctor is able to push most of it back in, but he said if I sneeze that hard in the future, there's really no guarantee. Right. That sounds tough, dude. Oh, I think... No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So as you guys know, we just hit one million subscribers. Oh, it's fucking lit. And to celebrate this, we've got a very special episode of Cars and Bros Live. Brought to you by Four Loco. Flavor Town! And I just want to take a moment to welcome our VR audience. And we hope that you enjoy the immersive experience that we have planned for you. But just a reminder, this is a beta experience, so there may be a few bumps in the road. Oh, 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 oh it's fucking lit! So today we're going to be reading your comments, talking cars, and later on we've got a very special live interview with none other than Mr. Elon Musk. <laughs> Alright, first up, let's get to the news. Here are some of the hottest automotive topics that have been trending around the world. And I want to start with Ferrari. Specifically, their new Portofino. Now, I'm just going to come out and say it. Not a fan. Rumor has it, this car is only going to be offered with an automatic transmission. Flavor tech! Now, until Ferrari starts offering their cars with a proper manual transmission, they're just not going to get my money. Ferrari needs to start listening to the enthusiast like me. And until they do that, I'm just going to keep driving my 99 Integra RS. Asia-Pacific, and more importantly, companies that actually listen to their customers, I want to take a moment to talk about Dongfang. <laughs> I was recently on a business trip in Shanghai. Flavor Town! And I had the honor of riding in the new Dongfang HQ6603 bus, and let me tell you, if you had blindfolded me and told me that I was in a Chang Fang MQ6328, I wouldn't have doubted you for a second. To me, this just proves how big and powerful Dong Fang has become. Flavor Town! And trust me, I was in seat 36F right above the motor, and I experienced minimal grinding noises. I was easily able to sleep during the 18-hour journey. Oh, 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 it's fucking lit. Okay, now there's something I want to talk about. It's kind of the elephant in the room. I want to talk about Nissan. Oh. Dude, can you believe what's going on with them lately? Yeah. Dude, they are just killing it, man. Definitely. I mean, head and shoulders above every other Korean automaker right now. Yeah. I don't know what's in the tea that they're drinking over there in Seal, but I want some of that. Mm -hmm. Dude. Ultima, Maxima, Rogue, Sentra, Versa, the new 370Z with a refresh? I would drive any of them. Oh, it's fucking lit. And talk about detonating nukes. Have you seen their new Midnight Edition lineup? Dude. hesitate to jump on their generous 96-month financing option and put one of those future classics in my garage. Okay, so let's check in and see what kind of comments and questions you guys are sending us. Let's do it. Okay. Alright. Let's get... Uh-huh. Oh, come on. That's not appropriate. Come on. Okay. Let's get... Let's get... Oh, here. Here's... No. No, never mind. Okay. 
Oh, this one, this one looks right. Oh, okay, here we go. Hey bros, got a bit of a problem. I just supercharged my 2017 Camaro SS and I love the car. Nice. Unfortunately, last week I was fired from my job and my girlfriend found out she's pregnant. Ooh. Ooh. She is pressuring me to sell the car, but I am upside down on the loan. What is a gearhead to do? Oh, tough wow, way, man. Dude, Tricky situation. We feel for you, man. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. We're not going to tell you what you want to hear. We're going to tell you what you need to hear. Okay. Supercharging that thing was a bad idea. These days, everyone knows the LT1 responds so much better to a turbo kit. Mm -hmm. It's just the way things are going. The turbo makes a lot more top end power. I mean, just look at these dyno charts. Oh yeah. Look at that. I mean, got the mid range, even in the upper revs. It's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 mm -hmm. it's the way to go. Mm -hmm. It's much better. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna wanna do is sell that supercharger, maybe on Craigslist, and that should get you most of the way toward a decent turbo setup. Mm -hmm. And good luck with the new family. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Bros, how do you feel about the current direction of BMW? Oh, that's a good one. <sighs> Uh, I've got some pretty strong opinions oh, yeah. about how badly BMW has been in the past few years, years. and specifically M. To me, M needs to be about racing first. Mm -hmm. That means three things. The cars need to sound really cool, yeah. yes. they need bespoke side mirrors, mm -hmm. and they have to have a manual transmission. Absolutely. I mean, they say M is supposed to stand for motorsport, but these days it's more like marketing. Yeah. And, I mean, have you heard the new M4? It sounds terrible. I mean... Boys, how's it going? Mom, I told you we're going to be live. And I made your favorite lunch, Bagel Bites and Dino Buddies. Bagel Bites? <laughs> Flavor Town. Okay, time for a brand new segment that we're calling Carbro's Lightning Round. Now this is where one of us comes up with a scenario and the other picks the perfect car for that scenario. Let's get started. Okay, I'll go first. Track day at the Nurgurdring, followed by dinner at the fanciest restaurant in Frankenschnitzel. Uh, Porsche, Porsche. Nice. Okay, my turn. All right, okay. You were just fired from your job over sexual harassment allegations and now you need cheap and reliable transportation to get to your new job, a dishwasher at P.F. Chang's. 99 Integra RS. Okay, my turn. Cannonball run oh. New York to LA as fast as possible while still avoiding the police. American Airlines premium economy. Nice. Okay, you're living at your friend's mom's house temporarily. You're struggling a bit with your sexuality. Uh, 99 Integra RS. Okay, my turn. You're at the club and you want to buy a beautiful woman a drink. Something that says I'm sophisticated, but I still know how to have a good time. Four Loco. <laughs> Flavor Town. Well, there are good indications that investor behavior has changed since the crisis. Um, most importantly, um, investors have become more conscious of the risks in their portfolio. These risks include a liquidity risk, which is the risk that you may not be able to sell your asset when you want to, and also credit risk, which is the risk that you may not get your money back. Oh, that must be Elon calling. Oh man, Elon fucking must. I... You old son of a bitch. Dude, you look great. Hey man, did you ever finish that uh, heads and can swap on your old Silverado? Oh, yeah. Dude, that truck was Bitchin', man. Oh, yeah. Hey, remember that one time we were all hammered at Havasu? Oh, Havasu? Oh, oh, yeah. Wakeboarding. Man. Dude, nostalgia. Yeah. Hey, man, so what have you been up to lately, huh? No, you know what? Let's just cut to the chase here. We want to know if you're finally going to listen to the enthusiast voice and offer the Model 3 with a manual transmission. Well, um, I think... It, it's, it's important to... Um, to, to, I think it's important to take as much feedback as you can from as many people as you can about whatever idea you have. So um, the whole idea about around creating a company is that you're, 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 you're putting together a group of people to uh, create a product or a service. And in order for that, uh, that it, for it to make sense for that group of people called a company Quiddity, to, to exist, Quiddity it has to be a really good product or service. Otherwise, there's no point in that company existing. 
So you want to just be extremely rigorous about making the best possible thing that you can, um, and seeking every uh, trying to find everything that's wrong with it and fix it. Uh, that's, that's really really important. So something I often say is you should seek negative feedback, um, particularly from friends. So and seek negative feedback, ask them what's wrong. You often have to throw it out in a nuanced way figure out what's wrong because friends don't want to tell you exactly what's wrong. So that's what you're doing.